Hi everyone, this video is going to be an unboxing of the Cricut Bright Pad. Um, they sent this to me to do a review and an unboxing, and the biggest reason why I said yes was because they're going to provide a giveaway for, for you guys who are watching this video. I'll explain the details about the giveaway later, and also in this video I'm going to be doing a little watercolor painting and I'm going to be testing out the Bright Pad or the light box. And um, I got the color mint green and I just love the way it looks. It's like a really nice pale blue and I love the design of the light box. It is 9 inches by 11.5 inches and the power cord is 6 feet long and they have like little grips on the bottom so it doesn't slip around. And you can actually adjust the light box to 5 different brightness settings which I found very useful but I always have it on the fullest brightness anyway because watercolor paper is really thick so you need a bright light to see through it. And the power cable has a USB end and a wall adapter that you can plug the USB into. It's really convenient because you can plug it into your computer and get power, and the lights on my table actually have USB slots, so I use that, and that was so convenient. So you can plug it into the wall or it's a USB. And the first thing I'm doing here is I'm sketching out my drawing digitally because I'm going to print off the digital sketch and I'm going to trace it onto watercolor paper using the the light box, the Cricut Bright Pad, and I'm going to, I tested it out with this sketch and then I'm going to be painting that sketch with watercolor color. So the sketches of a cat, um, I kind of worked out some ideas and then I decided I want to draw a cat and I used a photo reference for the cat because I'm not very, I can't remember how they look. They have so much fur on them it's hard to understand their anatomy and I really, um, I wanted to make it have a specific pattern on it because it makes it look more like a cat I find when it has markings and he's sitting on a rock around a bunch of cattails and there's a sign that says turtle crossing. I just decided to do that for some reason, um, the turtle crossing thing, because I do see a lot of turtle crossing signs, um, especially like when you go a little bit more up north, you see like turtle crossing, snake crossing, so I wanted to do that. And the cat's kind of near the turtle crossing sign, so maybe it's looking for turtles, I don't know. And as you can see, the bright pad has five levels of brightness, so you can adjust it how you want, and the I find that the buttons didn't really get in the way of my hand when I was drawing, even though I'm left-handed, and I guess if you have any problems with the buttons, you can like flip it around to whatever way you want to use it, but since the buttons are at the top, it my hand never really got in the way, and I was using a pretty small piece of paper anyway. So the way I transfer my sketches to better paper is I use a light box. And I only have one light box, but I really like the design of this one. It's just so white and clean and I love that it has a mint color on the on the back of it. I know you never really see the bottom of it, but just knowing that it's a really nice pale minty color was um, really cool. They come in a bunch of different colors, um, not just mint, there's other colors too. So like I said before, um, Cricut wanted to do, the makers of this of this light box, they wanted to do a giveaway for you guys, so I'm going to have a link in the description to Rafflecopter, and you just have to follow the instructions on how to enter. You'll have to enter your email address, and there might be some options for additional entries, and this this will last a week from the day I post this video, so that the, the deadline will be in the description, and then I will randomly choose a winner, and then I'm going to have to send your address to Cricut so that they can send it to you, and you'll be the winner of the light box and they're only giving away one I believe so um, you can enter that in the description the link will be there the website's called rafflecopter if you have any difficulties with it please let me know I'll try to help you through that so this painting after I transferred my sketch onto the watercolor paper I used a pencil and then I used my kneadable eraser to kind of lighten it so that the watercolor could so that the pencil lines weren't so dark and I could kind of they weren't so set in stone because when I go over the pencil lines with watercolor, I then like to sometimes outline it in a dark brown or a black to define the shapes and sometimes the pencil lines can get in the way of that. So that's why I like to lighten the pencil beforehand. And I just wanted to have a really muted color palette for this one. I wanted there to be color, but I wanted it to be very muted. So the cat is a gray cat. I made the rock very um, muted blue grayish color because rocks are gray anyway, I guess. But I made the grass a dark color. I made the sign more of like a mustard yellow. I made a bit of like an orange gradient and the sky's blue. And I, I just, this is basically like a, a fast drawing. I did this in about two or three hours. The watercolor part itself was about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, just if you include the drying time and outlining everything and transferring it over. 
Um, it could have been an hour and a half. And I'm trying to be more loose with watercolor. I like to let the colors kind of blend into each other. And after I, after I do the first layer of letting everything kind of blend together and mapping out where I want the colors to be and planning out my color palette, I go in with like a thinner brush and maybe even a darker version of that color and you put little details. And I find the more details you add, um, it tends to look better, especially if you find it's looking plain. Try to add more details, try to make objects have more of an edge or define them a bit more, um, make the values have a stronger contrast, so like dark. I wanted the rock to have very dark shadows but very light highlights, if that makes sense. And I wanted the sky to have a lot of texture to it, I wanted it to actually look like watercolor so the sky was all blotchy and watercolor looking. And Overall, I did have a lot of fun with this painting. Um, I think the composition turned out okay. I'm still not quite sure how I feel about it because I made this all in one day and I haven't looked at it with a fresh set of eyes yet, but so far I like it. I think there's always something off, like it's never perfect, but I, for the most part, I like the way it turned out and I had a lot of fun and I think this sketch is pretty cute. And I did base the cat off of a photo, just the pose, and um, then I put my own like little style to it. I always have a hard time drawing the cat's face. That's something I struggle with, especially the eye, because they always look really evil when I draw them. So I'm trying to learn how to draw them in a more... I haven't drawn a cat in a while, so I'm a little bit out of practice. So I like to kind of make their eye look a little more cartoony, and I find that makes them look more friendly. And then I outlined everything with a really dark micron, dark brown. So overall, I really like this light box. I'm probably going to use it a lot in the future. I love the design of it. It's not too big, not too small. It was really comfortable to use. And if you're interested in entering the giveaway, the link will be in the description. I'll be picking the winners in a week from the day of posting this video. And I'll probably announce the winner in the description, but you'll get an email from me if you won the giveaway. So all the rules will be in the description of this video. So make sure you read them before you enter and you know what you're supposed to do and what you can't do. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Cricut for letting me try out their light box. I had so much fun using it. It was really, really nice to use. I love the way it looks. I can't stress that enough. I love how the cord is flat too. I just love the look of that. It doesn't tangle very easily. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this little watercolor sketch painting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.